Today, we've got a map with 23 teams on it, and each collegiate program represents one all-time NBA letter. Or, in easier to understand terms, this is NBA imperialism in alphabetical order. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Nikola Jokic make up a sick big three for Team J. Steph Curry, Wilt Chamberlain, and Vince Carter lead a sure-to-be competitive Team C. Kobe Bryant, Elgin Baylor, and Devin Booker on Team B feels downright unfair, and that's just three of many, many stacked legendary teams that we've got competing today let me know down below right now which letter will be the last one standing let's do this thing and which will be the first one competing let's find out right now i have no doubt that uh, each of you watching knows how imperialism works we've got team letter m they will be the visiting the away team wherever this compass lands where will team m be challenging they're going north northeast to be exact and we've already got two-thirds of our michigan located letters competing let's do it M versus E. Team M should definitely be considered a heavyweight in this video. They've got the Malones with Kevin McHale in the front court. Team Mac, they're a little, uh, they're much more deep up front with all these Hall of Fame centers. Uh, they've also got Pistol Pete, John Morant in the backcourt. Team E definitely has some nice top end talent with Joel Embiid, Dr. J, Patrick Ewing, but definitely one of the more thin rosters. Uh, I mean, they're kind of the middle of the pack as we'll see, but I think Team M gets this one. And indeed, not even my uh, classic reverse jinx ability could save team e in this one they take a fat l look at the balance on team m dude they might be one of the best rosters in this video i'm gonna say that a ton but three guys scoring in the 20s john moran a double double we say adios to our first competitor of the video goodbye letter e and in case you were one of the few people who don't know how imperialism works i hope you've got an idea now oh my are you serious are you letter m again without any type of upgrades or power-ups in this video this time around uh it's not necessarily beneficial for teams to play a bunch of games well if they keep winning it's fine and once again letter m is staying in state it may it makes sense dude the u of m trying to take over all of michigan let's go yeah this is why uh having to play games isn't necessarily beneficial a uh, team m their second game their second opponent is team c with wilt steph kurt i mentioned them in the intro for a reason this is a loaded oh my word yes one way or another we are losing a heavyweight contender in this game so i am very happy to report it's a four point game with just under a minute left Steph Curry oh that was a dirty step back my word I'm gonna keep mentioning it for my own sake there are so many loaded this is an all-time roster put in alphabetical order obviously there's a lot of great teams Will with the great block oh my gosh Moses recovers can he score Moses, that was such a clutch hustle play, my guy. But no matter how many great legendary teams we're going to see in this video, it sucks if we lose Steph and Wilt, that combo. Uh, speaking of which, Steph tried to lob to Wilt. No good. What? <laughs> what was that animation? I don't know, but it worked. One of the craziest things I've ever seen in these Sims just happened. Tracy McGrady missed her 13 points in 33 seconds. Missed both free throws. The door is wide open. Oh my gosh. Steph just keeps chucking. And she, but, 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 why? Why, Steph? I don't know what I meant by that. I Trace McGrady looking ice cold. I, I don't know. Okay, three-point game. No timeouts for letter C. Steph, now you've got to shoot. What? Now you're nope. going to pass? What? Now you're... Okay. All right, Steph. What were you doing? I have many questions about Steph's execution down the stretch, but look at T-Mac with 40 and 11. John Morant with 36. Team M deserved it. Hello, dog. <laughs> what? Uh, whoa. What are you upset about? <laughs> hey, stop it. Uh, like, excuse me. <laughs> What's that? You're upset that people aren't using Code J Canada, <laughs> underdog? Okay. I mean, I... <laughs> Please, people. People. My dog needs to stop barking. And there's only one way to make that happen. Code J Canada underdog. Sheesh, I know you want my dog to stop barking. You, you can help me out by using my code JCAN right now at underdog. The link is down below. There's NBA, NHL playoffs, the MLB season. It's a great time to get in with underdog. Once again, use promo code JCAN. My link is down below for a special pick in your lobby and a deposit match offer on your first deposit. After two dubs for Team M, we'd see another team mentioned in the intro as Team J was spun and sent north to face Team V. And as touched on quickly in the intro team j um yeah michael jordan lebron james nikola Jokic. i didn't even mention you know, a little magic johnson action i guess they're lacking after Jokic and big men but nah they have no weakness well letter v one of my favorite teams on this roster because you know they feel like a real underdog with 290 overalls the rest uh you know mid to high 90s they've got a full roster though which is you know something can they compete you know what the answer to my question is 
absolutely yes. Team V did compete. They kept it relatively close. Um, just good thing I didn't ask if they could win because th that's a no. Like Team M before them, Team J was thrust into a second appearance already as Team K was spun and sent east into their territory. Letter K, I would say very similar to Letter E who we saw lose earlier. Well, you know, it's not a bad team by any stretch of the imagination, but definitely not as deep with, you know, Hall of Fame legendary talent uh, like a Team J they're about to face. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, this is why we play the games. We don't just listen to what I say. I don't know ball sometimes. It's it's proven uh, and it's happening once again before our very eyes. Letter K, despite being outmatched on papers up for under two minutes left. This is a very ugly possession. I might have screwed them by jumping into this game. I don't know if they'll be able to close it out. Jokic from the post. Oh no, that's a double. Oh, LeBron looks off MJ in the corner and LeBron's got it. Who needs the extra pass? Billy Knight going to work. I think he's like a 91 overall. MJ's got... Oh, MJ boxed him. MJ... Wait, he got the rebound. That's... Wow. That is so huge. LeBron now getting doubled over to Jokic. That was kind of ugly, but it worked. Now, does Letter K have anything better or not? They cannot rely on another O board to score. I'm going to say that right now. That is my prediction. Oh, my Lanta. Jason Kidd is wide open for so long. Magic got caught up on screens. I was doubting their abilities. They made a count. Jokic inside for two, but you're down two still. All right, that same dude who came up with a clutch hoop, Billy Knight, just ice cold hit two free throws. Letter J is out of timeouts. What is their plan? Do they go three? They got to score quick. I Either way, they are running this pick and roll with Nikola Jokic. Doesn't work. Magic gonna ISO. Jason Kidd's a good defender, man. No, what in the world? No. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Now, two of three teams I highlighted in the intro are eliminated. And uh, guess what? The third was on the chopping block as Team L was heading into Texas to take on Team B. Now, Team L, not the team I highlighted in the intro. Uh, the letter L, though, looking pretty good. Kawhi, Jerry Lucas, Dame Lillard, Bob Lanier. And, and, and I heard Kawhi's actually going to play this game. He's healthy. Amazing. But Team B, yes, I mentioned them in the intro along with Team J and Team C, both of whom are eliminated. But like, look at why I pointed them out. Kobe, Larry Bird, Elgin Baylor, Chuck Barkley. This team is a mitt. Come on. They got to come through. I need the world to see proof that I did not jinx these teams. I don't have that kind of power. Team B, I am being biased in this case. And I'm not even going to jump in to watch the final seconds. Yeah, look at that. No, no jinxing around here. A huge win for Team B. That's like 40 some points. Chauncey Billups led them in scoring. Yeah, they're deep. I, the people I'm not even mentioning are scoring 20 plus. A touch of bad luck was upon letter M as they were forced to play their third game already. Letter P, the challenger this time around. Oh, I, I low-key forgot about letter P. Scotty Pippen, Chris Paul, Tony Parker. Ah, they have way too many point guards. Robert Parrish, their best big, but I mean, I, that, that's a lot of 90 pluses. Oh, wow. What what a battle we've got, ladies and gentlemen. Team M, John Morant going to work, getting boxed, missing the layup. It's a tie game. I didn't have much confidence in letter P because they have just so many point guards, including three on the floor right now. Carl Malone is guarding Mark Price. Oh, this is chaos. This is why I love making these videos. Tony Parker's wide open from the mid-range. That's a big bucket. The unpredictability of rotations and how these teams are built, like, it's just it's just completely random. John Morant without the answer, but Moses is there on the glass. Do they hunt the mismatches, letter P? No, no, Tony, that's not the shot, my guy. You're not a three-point shooter. Oh, okay, the door is now wide open for letter M. John Morant, please set up a post up to George Mikan. Please tell me or Kevin McHale. They both have mismatches. Letter M is not going to go to it. Instead, it's Carl Malone slipping past Robert Parrish. That might be a game winner. Okay, uh, Drazen Petrovic is now in the game. Why was he not moving into a three? He pulls up off the dribble. That was a pretty good look, but no good. A near upset for Letter P, but uh, more territory acquired by Letter M while a battle for the state of Florida was upon us. And I don't mean to put the cart before the horse here, but uh, even even though letter F isn't the deepest, most talented roster out there, yeah, it really thins out quickly. Um, I still think they're the prohibitive favorite because, well, um, letter U has two players. Uh, yeah, Stanley Umude and Wes Unseld. This would be quite the ups. And we, we don't need to see the final moments. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have included the letter U, but what can you do? Let's keep it moving. We'd finally get our West Coast letters involved in this video as Team N was sent west clean across the map to face Team O. More like Team O. No, they do not have 
very much depth. Uh, Hakeem and Shaq is a pretty good dynamic duel, but after that, Jermaine O'Neal, Victor Oladipo, yeah, it really thins out. But you know what? It's a perfect matchup for Team N, who, uh, same thing, a great dynamic duo, Sha uh, Dirk and Steve Nash. Uh, but after that, there isn't much of a bench. Okay, okay, these two teams very evenly matched on paper, which once again walks us right into a clutch finish. This is amazing. Dude, Sha uh, Steve Nash into Dirk. Why do I keep saying Shaq when I mean Steve Nash? Oh, Joakim Noah with the tip. Wow, how'd he miss that? They're not going to get him the ball. Uh, Donal is wide open. Oh my gosh, no, terrible possession. Team N can hit a dagger right now. They're going back into Dirk. Ah, that's Hakeem guarding him. One of the few people who probably could. They're going to run this pick and roll with Don Ole. Can Sven Nader contain Hakeem Olajuwon on the defensive end? Don Ole not passing. Yes. He's pulling up, and that is clutch. Unfortunately, we do not watch OT around here unless it gets really close right towards the end. Team N takes a lead. Uh, it's a five-point game. Yeah, I think they've got this. Wait a minute, three-point game. But they're two legendary stars. Shaq and Hakeem probably not going to be involved here. Don Ole working around the screen. This time, Steve plays a little bit of defense and letter N does escape with the W. There you go. Goodbye, Hakeem and Shaq. We also had to say goodbye to those fire Oregon jerseys. That's that's tough. But uh, anyways, letter D was up next, challenging letter K. We've already seen letter K take down one juggernaut, one heavyweight in this video. They've got another on their plate here. Letter D, Tim Duncan, Kevin Durant, Luca, Clyde. Wow. Yep. I forgot how good this team was. Unfortunately, uh, letter K was not able to replicate their magic um li like not at all this one was all letter d an eventual 33 point blowout win wow that win earned letter d a large amount of new land but uh they'd immediately be put to the test as letter r was introduced to the video traveling northwest into the aforementioned newly acquired territory of letter d and this is about to be a battle of heavyweights look at bill russell oscar robertson david robinson Derek rose the letter D coming from the top ropes, baby. Wow, wow, and a late push in the fourth quarter. Are you kidding me, dude? Durant, Doncic, Drexler, Davis, Duncan. Hey, hey, I got another D for you, Team D. How about done? As in, that's what you are in this video. Unbelievable. I mean, not necessarily that letter R beat them, but they dominated them, including a 38 to 15 drubbing in the fourth quarter alone. With their debut, letter R now inherits a nice chunk of land, but like so many before, for them were asked to immediately defend it as letter F challenged them from Florida and to my absolute shock like like genuinely battled them tooth and nail right down to the wire to prove once again why matchups are not determined on paper the letter F in red on the road severely outmatched wait a minute Derek Rose for team R just fouled it's it's a five point game it's not over letter R why are they fouling already was that a mistake oh look they forced a turnover okay 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 I'm all about team F right now they're playing amazing that was a bad turnover but they get the stop anyway michael finley just missed two free throws i i'm trying to crown letter f in this game but it's li <laughs> it's literally not over okay this got way too chaotic letter r has no timeouts though so i do think this game is over the cpu is not there they're so dumb they're so dumb why do you eh, nope. and anyway they probably could have hit that full court try anyway 2k and their wild and wacky ai tried to make that thing interesting i have no idea letter f their roster is not very good, but that's a huge W coming from Florida. And don't look now, but we're basically at the halfway point here. Only 13, no, 12 teams, 12 letters left on our wheel. Team A, we haven't seen them yet. And trust me, like I've said a million times, uh, they are very loaded. Yeah, another stacked all-time roster heading south. Oh, and from Alabama, it's a very short trip due south, and we got letter F. Can they can they continue this magical run? We're about to find out. And uh, we found out. Uh, but boy, did we ever uh, we found out with a big fat no kind of like letter k before them letter f uh upset a couple teams in some nice performances and then fell flat on their face wow that a 50 point loss and i just realized i didn't introduce team a letter a before uh they dominated that game ray allen Giannis, gilbert arenas all over 20 points kareem lamarcus aldridge yeah they've got a squad boys they've also now got a whole bunch of land yeah meanwhile team b was back up sent Northwest into Team Y territory, making their debut letter Y led by Yao. Yes, we put him on this squad. Trey Young, uh, George Yardley. They've got a couple legends. That 
Maddie is young, but uh, let her be. They're very good, so. Yeah, even though it's not going to be a massive blowout, shout out to Letter Y. They kept it somewhat close, but a pretty easy win for Letter B. Kobe and the boys were put right back to the test as making their debut traveling east was Letter S. Okay, yep, yep. This means we're losing a heavyweight officially. One of these Titan battles. Uh, John Stockton, Dolph Shays, Bill Sharman, a lot of old white dudes. There's Amari, there's Demonis, Sabonis. They ain't messing around this Letter S. Despite those warnings, I just gave Letter B indeed seemed to be caught off guard by Letter S. Falling behind early to Stockton and company, Bryant, Bird, and Barkley were never able to recover. And thus ends the run of the third and final team I mentioned in the intro. We've lost Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Team J. Now Kobe and, and Larry Bird. What? Who, who's going to win this thing? Pickings were getting slim as Letter S took over all that land. Under 10 teams remain, by the way, as Letter N was sent northeast to challenge Letter M. That's a N as in Nowitzki taking on M as in Malone. Do we all understand now? That, that was kind of a mouthful. That's what she said. With multiple Malones, a Morant, and a McGrady, Letter M was able to stave off their nearby alphabetical rival a 20-point win. At Michigan M, Yellow continues to expand while attempting to rise from the south. Letter A challenging Letter T. This is actually the debut of Letter T, a roster that I would have thought uh, T last name seemed popular. I would have thought it'd be a bit better, but it's definitely good enough to potentially upset Letter A. Like, no doubt about Wowie. it. Wowie. I just, uh, I, I just simultaneously massively disrespected Team T and uh, in the process completely reverse jinx Team A because indeed Team T comes in and, and they dominated, man. Only a nine point win, but it felt worse than that. A coup for Letter T grabbing a big chunk of land. Uh, the wheel, mind you, would finally give us Letter W in their debut from way up in the Pacific Northwest. They'd challenge Letter M. I emphasize the word finally for Team W making their debut because you might be surprised like I was to see just how great they are on paper. Dwayne Wade, Jerry West, James Worthy. I mean, it's the letter W. Um, I, I kind of expect them to take a few here. Oh no, but with 90 seconds left, Team W is down by a bucket. And it's really bad because if I remember, I'll show you, they have collapsed in this fourth quarter. They were up double figures and then some in this game, but we don't need to talk about it. If they can get a stop and a couple scores, <laughs> Tracy McGrady is not, that was a contested three, my guy. Sometimes that's that good. Uh, shoot, make or miss, it's smart to just take good shots. D-Wade, that was not a good shot. You're not a three ball guy, man. Team M could hit a dagger right here. They are up, no chance. No chance, Dwayne Wade just left Tracy butt naked from the three point. After he hit one over you, D-Wade, really? Dude, look at this, I wasn't lying. Look at this fourth quarter, 42 to 14. Letter W had a massive lead. Dwayne Wade folded in the clutch. T-Mac was amazing, I insane. Letter M with their fifth win of the video already, just built different. Uh, and of course, they were put right back to the test, this time by letter I, making their debut in this video. And I'm gonna say it right now. I don't care about reverse jinx. If this is the team that takes down letter M after all their impressive wins, I, we might just have to shut this video down because letter I is not very good on paper, okay? Now the duo of Kyrie Irving, Allen Iverson, it's legendary uh, uh, handling of balls, uh, ball handle. That's what she said. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that legendary ball handling duo, which is what I was trying to say. Say, uh, well, they kept this game kind of close, but took an Make that six wins now for letter M. Wow. With just five letters left standing, we get the debut of letter G challenging the encompassing letter T. Man, another team I've been waiting on. The letter G is uh, ferocious, man. Kevin Garnett, Shea, George Gervin, a bunch of OGs and some current day studs. This is prime Paul George, though. Why not? The Gasol brothers. Yep, this, this could be bad. Of course, by bad, I meant bad for letter T. That was my prediction at least, but look at letter T. Jason Tatum inside Nate Thurman getting boxed by Artis Gilmore. He's going to go inside to shade. That's inch. Oh, he's got a mismatch. Who's he? I, I don't know who he just shot that over, but it was money. By the way, this Tennessee court looks absolutely fire. I, I, I just have to mention that. Jason Tatum, meanwhile, on the step back mid range. That also looked absolutely fire. Jay, way to go. Shea, Jason Tatum going to work in the clutch again with a little shot put over IT. It works. Okay. I just realized the letter G literally has four bigs out there including Powell and Marcus Old. Powell's playing small forward. That's a tough shot from Carl Anthony Towns. Another current day, or man. 
Shea's out there. Richie Guerin, the OG Paul George. Ah, uh, Shea takes the screen from Kevin Garnett. My man is shooting every time down and he finally misses. They are indeed done in this game. A battle of two absolute heavyweight teams comes down to late game execution. And led by Carl Anthony Towns, Isaiah Thomas, Jason Tatum. It was just a little bit better for the letter T who survived. Just four letters remaining on our map, including letter H yet to make their debut. And right on cue, they were spun by the wheel, sent off to challenge letter T once again. A very late entry into the video. Uh, this is the move, man. J you don't have to risk losing sooner. Uh, team letter H, they are very good. We've got four loaded rosters remaining the way it should be. Can John Havlicek lead the way? Indeed, he could. Despite a string of strong performances from letter T, uh, 26 points from Grant Hill was too much to overcome. Letter H debuting with a double-digit W. I say this without any bias to a particular team. Um, I'm kind of sad to see letter T go because now we have two burgundy red colored teams remaining. I, they're so they're so similar. I, you kind of hate to see that. But it is what it is. We're down to three teams remaining. Letter M has played so many more games. I think S and H have only played one each and that uh, one of those teams is skating right by to the final. It's not going to be H. This compass spin is very important. Either team could be in play here depending on which direction letter H is sent. Okay, Southwest. And I think it's fair to go from their original location, Havid. That's letter H in Massachusetts. They're taking on letter M, Michigan. Let's do it, man. Havid. I, I got to work on my Boston accent. I, I mean, it's pretty freaking good, but like, it could be better. We have seen letter M win six games this video. Uh, letter H just made their debut, but at least starting lineup wise, I, I, I mean, they're equal. I can't give the nod to either squad. Let's go. I assumed we were heading for a tightly fought down to the wire type game in our semifinal, but uh, man, this uh, this letter M team, they uh, they, they they good. Oh my word, dude! They, they've got me. They've got me stuttering. They've got me fumbling and bump. How can it? They. The, oh, playing a bunch of games in this style of video imperialism, it's supposed to hurt you, not just like, like, like they've won seven games. This wasn't even close. Uh, this is not good for the content. I mean, I guess when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not nine players in double figures. I don't know. I guess this team is just built perfect. Right. While the blowout victory, not good for the content. Hey, at least we don't have two burgundy teams left on our map. All right, we got some variety here with that Michigan M yellow. What a matchup to the letter M and the letter S in terms of their rosters on paper, both deserving of being here. Whichever wheel spin this, whoever this lands on gets home court advantage could be important. Yeah, letter M. Okay. They totally earned it because by virtue of being situated in Michigan amongst a bunch of other teams, letter M had to play seven games. They won each of them. Obviously we know we have proof. This roster is perfect. They're deep. They're talented. They're balanced. I, I don't know what else to say. Well, the letter S not so much. We might be in for a blowout in our final. They're obviously not as good on paper. They just hid there in, in California on the West Coast, played just one game to get here. That's how imperialism goes, man. It's all random. It's all based on the wheel. And occasionally we get left with two teams who are not evenly matched at all. One team that is a clear favorite, but hopefully, hopefully we get some chaos and a clutch finish in our final matchup. Let's go. Oh, yes, yes. I successfully jinxed or reverse jinxed us into a great finish. Oh, I was worried. I was worried. I was setting it up for a blowout, but uh, that is that is a reverse jinx. Okay. Okay. Team S with a forced pass. That's a turnover back in transition. Team M's going to get to within one. So many people on the court are tired right now. It's a battle. Bill Sharman working the pick and roll. Eee! He got it off above Moses Malone. What? Trying to get two back, Moses. You couldn't get the stop last time down, and there he goes. And they are still up on their burning clock. This would be a huge bucket. Bill Sharman is open. T-Mac got caught up on the screen. Are you kidding me? Will he be able to make up for it? He could shoot right over Bill Sharman's dome. Like, with ease, he's going to kick it. Sean Marion. Marion! Anyways, he made the shot. It's all that matters. Bill Sharman once again controlling things. Demonis Sabonis finishing over Moses. I cannot calm down here. Honestly, a clutch masterclass for Team S by Bill Sharman. A couple assists, a couple buckets, or, or whatever he's done. He's been good. Jo oh, John Morant. John Morant! That was a four shot! No! Why did John Morant force up a three? Now, Sean Merritt. What? 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 Sean Merritt? Oh, okay. I was about to destroy letter M for not getting Tracy McGrady involved, but apparently uh, I should have been asking for Sean Marion. Two clutch threes. Again, no timeouts. Page a hit both free throws. Letter M needs a three to tie. No. 
No shot. No shot. They just went to Carmelo. <laughs> After seven wins in this video, we finally find out Letter M, an absolute fraudulent franchise. Going to Carl Malone in the clutch. Yeah, they lose. It's Team S's map. They're the last letter left standing. I, uh, I... I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Letter S, after winning one game, they just, that they were good in the clutch. Letter M absolutely crumbled. Carl Malone, are you serious? Let me know what you thought of the video. I had a ton of fun recording. Check out another one from my channel and drop a thumbs up on this one.